This is the tentacular scarf. It's a bunch of eye cords followed by a tubular scarf. It has two fabrics. So it's knit in the round by any method that you wish. But every now and again you might run out of yarn or wish to join in another colour. And I'm going to show you an easy way to make a nice neat join and not need to come back and neaten them afterwards with a darning needle. We're just going to join a new yarn in a piece of circular knitting. The trouble with taking both yarn tails and knitting them in the same direction, so take, taking hold of both of them, is that you get double stitches. The way I prefer to join a yarn is to link the new one around the old one. That's very important. They must link. Then knit my first stitch in my new colour, keeping the old colour out of the way. And it doesn't have to be a new colour, it can just be a continuation of the same colour of yarn. And now I'm knitting one stitch above the tail and one stitch below. If I lift the tail up and knit underneath the tail and make sure I don't pull it through. This is just like weaving in at the back of a piece of Fair Isle knitting. So one stitch above, one stitch below. And that weaves the new colour in at the back of the work. I've knit almost all the way round in my new colour, or my new yarn. And now I could not worry about this tail and come back and darn it in later. It needs to darn in in the imposing direction to the first tail. But if I remember, I'm about six stitches before my join. I can actually knit it in as I approach the join. So I'm going to resume knitting. I'm lifting the tail up and knitting. And I've got a, a float at the back, not too tight. And this time I'm going to keep the tail, I'm going to lift the tail up and knit underneath it. This time I'm going to leave the tail down, lift the tail up, knit underneath it, keep the tail down, knit over the top of it, and we'll do tail up one more time. And that's my yarn join completed and neatened. So there's my yarn join. There's my last stitch of white, my first stitch of purple. Both the stitches look perfectly happy and balanced. Now if we look on the inside and turn it over, you can see the undulating tail yarn. And there's the undulating tail yarn going in the opposite direction. If you feel this one is a little tight, give it a little stretch. And because these are going to be inside the tentacular scarf, these tails can be left long inside the tube and there's no need to worry about them further. 